Hi, hi, I'm it's Joe. Oh, hi, Joe. How's it going? The car's all ready for you. Awesome. Lovely. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. I'll, I'll see you when you get here. Thank you. Uh, looking forward to it. All right. Cheers. Drive carefully. Cheers, Siam. Bye. 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 Hey. Um, yeah. Oh. Very exciting. Have you ever bought a new car? Haven't you? No. First experience. Oh my gosh, I hope it's a good one for you. There it is. No way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. collecting my car. Uh, normally I don't make a big deal about um, getting new cars like with the Aston or whatnot, but um, I'm super excited about this because it is literally, it's impressed me so much and I've driven all sorts of uh, fancy cars and, and here it is. Um, now normally I'm always going on about how uh, if you're going to get a car you need to get it at the bottom of that depreciation curve. Well, I've sort of ignored that and this is, this is actually my first ever brand new car. Um, and it's quite nice, they, they looked after us. Uh, but the thing is, this is more of a, this is as much of a business decision as well, because this is, uh, I've got the P100D upgrade. So this is a 130 grand car. And so it reduces my corporation tax. So I'm saving a good 20, 30 grand um, this year for our corporation tax. So um, yeah, we're gonna hop in, drive home, and uh, see how fast we can do naught to 60. <laughs> cars like that van this is just unreal um, the the autopilot is just nuts so you just pull this twice um, and then it does the steering braking accelerating for you my feet are near the brake just in case and we're going around a, a slight bend and this is really freaky it's Keeping bang center. It's slowing down and speeding up. So it's now speeding up because the car in front is speeding up. So apparently it changes lane automatically as well. So I just apparently have to slightly touch this and indicate right and it'll move. Hold steering wheel, okay. Oh my lord, it's turning on its own. It's speeding. <laughs> That's nuts. I didn't. I didn't do that. It it slowed down and. So this makes me um, think about trailing stops, as in the automated trailing stops in FXCM. And yes, you can get your stop loss to automatically trail the market, whether it's at a set distance or the dynamic. Uh, but I don't quite trust it and it's the same with this autopilot it's freaking amazing and we've done like it's done 80 percent of the driving uh, from heathrow to home so far but there's still a little part of me which doesn't trust it i i, I don't know why um maybe because it's a beta mode but you always need to carry on doing little adjustments uh, like we're just coming to a roundabout now and i've just taken the wrong exit mother 
to. Yeah, you can't just rely on it because just like I did, thumb and bum, mind and neutral, I just took the wrong exit. Um, so that's one of the reasons why you have to really get into the habit of just every single morning or every every night just looking for those setups use the, the analysis accelerator that uh, pips posts every morning uh, just look for the setups and then monitor your stops and it's as simple as that it needs to become a, a life skill and so there was that <laughs> and also here's another problem I just did I went to take my hands off the wheel thinking it would steer but I I forgot to engage the autopilot and you can do that with your trading as well um, you could think that it's automatically trailing the market blah 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 but it isn't so yeah that's my tenuous link. Okay, Ludacris is on, road is clear. Let's just uh, give this a little whack. Ha 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 ha!